Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Welcome to Salty Sweet Games, where we shenanigan sob and smooch our way through tabletop role-playing games. I'm one of your hosts, Salty. And I'm Sweet. And these various assorted spices are our friends. Welcome to not the last episode of Masks of Nyarlathotep, our long-running pulp action meets cosmic horror campaign. I mean, it could end today for a myriad of reasons. Uh, but before we go around and meet everyone and their poor doomed characters, we have some channel shout outs. Firstly, a ton of thanks to our sponsors, starting with Roll20, our virtual tabletop of choice, <sighs> which unites gamers across any distance with easy to use tools that run straight from your web browser for free. We are part of their ambassador program, which highlights indie tabletop creators all across the interwebs. We're also affiliates with Dice Envy and Grinding Coffee Co., two awesome companies. If you like shiny math rocks, if you like your soaked bean energy juice as much as I do, these are great companies to get those things from. We have affiliate links and discount codes everywhere. They're in the chat. They're in the panels. You can find them. Uh, what else? Thank you to everyone who has followed, uh, subbed, resubbed, gifted subs, liked, chatted, lurked, all those things. Uh, we really appreciate you. If you want to support us further, there are tip incentives listed down below that can seriously impact the game. You can go to the panel Affect the Game and click on it. It'll take you where you need to go. Exclamation tip and chat will also take you where you need to go. It is always appreciated, but never expected. Last thing we here at Salty Sweet Games use safety tools. Lines, veils, X and no cards, stars and wishes, and content warnings because while the characters may be put through hell, the players are here to have fun and there are priority always. Without further ado, let's meet them. Let's start with Kiana. Hello, I am Kiana. I'm the Sweet the Channel. My pronouns are she and they. But today I am playing Irene Blackwell, who pronouns are she and her. Um, yeah, she got burned by fire vampires last time oh, and i'm sure that everything is going to be chill from here on out yeah when i read the list of content warnings for today's episode i think like very chill vibes like vacationing in nairobi vibes um yeah that's probably what today is going to be so good call good shout kiana let's go over to allison <laughs> Fire vampires, people. Fire vampires. Hey, everybody, it's Allie. I play Ganymede Graves, adventure scientist, once the archetyp archetypical woman, the age of rationality and progress now. She who surrenders to the madness to fight the madness. And look, it's not like Lauren's just been sitting in her studio for the last hour playing Metallica's master of puppets on endless repeat turned up to like 11. It's not that bad. It's totally that bad, y'all. It's That doesn't I'm, sound I'm, like me at all. Doesn't sound yeah. like something I do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So. You, I mean, you did, you, you just until sounds, like just a minute ago. Sounds like a lie. Um, <laughs> no, <laughs> no segue. Hi, Summer, good morning. <laughs> Hi. Hi. Hello. It's me. Um, wow. Fire vampires, you know. It's so quirky and cute and fun. Yeah. And they're I so can't small. wait for another quirky. They're so little. And little cute babies. <laughs> um, they don't mean to burn people. It's just their nature. Um, I play one Mr. Charlie rap who uses he, him pronouns. I use she, her pronouns. And I am just excited for another a cute quirky episode i think it's gonna be super chill i have seen the content warnings and i am mildly alarmed but i think it's gonna be a-okay in the end i'm so glad you think that good let's go over to tommy yes hi hello i'm hello. tommy i didn't pay to penguin Twitchfere. i play zibbel and augustine claiborne montgomery the third we both use he, him, and this is totally gonna. This is not everything's fine. We don't have an old. We don't, you know. There's totally not an old man we need to kill. Um, <laughs> you don't need uh, to. You can just talk um, to him, probably. And you know, then we're just gonna go on vacation. We're gonna have a nice vacation. Yeah, in 
Nairobi, it'll be great. Yeah. Vacation. Yeah. Good. Well, with that out of the way, if you're joining us for the first time or the first time in a long time, this Motley crew is still trying to stop an apocalyptic event from occurring. Their journey started when their good friend Jackson Elias was murdered for investigating the infamous Carlisle expedition, the members of which were all formerly presumed dead. Uh, this, uh, since then, they've uncovered a global conspiracy involving various death cults who all worship different aspects of the same eldritch god. Many names, many forms, but all the same and to one end. This is taking them from Peru to New York to England, Shanghai, Australia, Egypt, and finally Kenya. The cults were working together to build a machine to rupture and taint the sky, but our heroes stopped that part of the plan. However, the cults in Africa are still thriving and preparing for the Great Ritual on January 14th, 1926, 108 days from September 28th, 1925, which is 18 days before the next new moon and the prophesied birth of the spawn of Nyarlathotep. Last time, the daring docked in Mombasa and you made your farewells. Well, some of your farewells. John Craig and Annabelle Claiborne Montgomery could not be dissuaded from joining you in Kenya. You took the Ugandan railway to Nairobi, but an hour outside of the city, what can only be described as living balls of flame melted through the train car walls and attacked. Irene was badly burned, but Charles's mythos knowledge came in hand and Zeb and Ganymede were able to extinguish the creatures. As the train was evacuated, Zeb managed to spot a fleeing Silas Nakwane, former proprietor of Juju House in New York and cultist of the Bloody Tongue. So, because of the fire, the train is obviously delayed, and you have to kind of rough it with all the other members, uh, all the other passengers. So you arrive in Nairobi the next day. Most of which you spend being questioned by the parliamentary police. Though Ganymede's credentials keep you from having to stay overnight and you're able to check into Hampton House Hotel a little before dinner. Uh, it's packed, as established. Nairobi seems to be uh, popping these days. Uh, but Charles's money can almost always open doors. So Hampton House Hotel is a white, rambling, two-story hotel. Very well appointed, carefully tended plantings and lawns. Uh, the proprietor whom you checked in with, Reggie Baines, is this port-swilling old fellow. Um... And you are able to rest if you wish or get what you need to get done in Nairobi. Up to you. But you are at Hampton House Hotel now. That is on the map at number 25. I'll ping that for y'all so you can see where you are. The train station is number 28. So it's like right off the train station. What would you um, like to do? Zep's, Zep's, gonna, Zep's gonna make sure everyone's okay and then get some sleep. Yeah. Still got a bit of healing to do. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you do. Um, yeah. Speaking of which, uh, do you think you would have stopped at a hospital to treat Irene's burns? Or were you all... Yeah, you would, you'd rather do that. That makes sense. That makes sense. So, Irene... You're telling me there wasn't a doctor aboard this train? Wild <laughs> stuff. Um, so, wild. so you'll heal two points from treatment. Ooh. Isn't that nice? Yeah, so you can either... Uh, so you so you want to, to stay at the hotel tonight and rest. I think that's right. All right. Yeah, because the train was delayed. So mm -hmm. like... Yeah, and then Why you were get an questioned. early start tomorrow. Yeah. 
Yeah. Great. Good. Yeah. And we and we have we have the civilians with us. Yes, you do. Yes, you do. The civilians. <laughs> <laughs> Um, yeah, is there anything you want to do this evening, or shall we cut to the next day? I, I think sleep. We've had to do hit the walk in, right? Like part of it. So too. Yeah. Part of it. Yeah, they managed to we're... to kind of creep into Nairobi. Hmm. No one was allowed to stay in that car, obviously. Yeah. And um, I, I think we learned our lesson in Egypt about rushing okay. in when everyone's not well. I don't know sure. what you're talking about. Yeah, so. it's a little rest. Great. Okay. So uh, magic points should probably refresh for all of you because uh, it's one per hour and everybody gets two hit points back. Oh, man. I'm so happy to have those magic points back. I know, aren't you just? Uh, so it will be September 19th then. Excellent, excellent. We love that. We love that. I'm taking some time. You know. We're, yeah. You know, not in a huge rush, not like. Sure. <laughs> this is the first time we're vibing. I mean, obviously, Silas is an issue. But he's ancient, so like, probably fine. He's old news. He's, he's old, old news. news. So, old so man. Nairobi. I'll give you an overview of Nairobi as you wake up the next morning. Yay. Uh, currently, Nairobi is a colonial town of about 8,000 people. Uh, just beyond the town rises Mount Kinengop and the Aberdeer Range. Uh, a little further north, you can see uh, a northeast, you can see uh, Mount Kenya, and uh, straight ahead north, there is a, uh, another mountain, Mount Satima. The town was founded in 1900 as a railway siding at the foot of the mountains, the last spot where locomotives could reach, basically. Uh, around here, uh, it's relatively cool and dry because of the elevation the views are superb the water is good the soil is excellent for farming which of course is why the europeans noticed uh this place and started to colonize shit um there's lots of other influences in the quarters as well indian and muslim the nearby swamp has been drained and the streets are lined with imported eucalyptus trees um, so, you know, the reason Ganymede is kind of able to get you through all this questioning is because of the, uh, parliamentary police. Uh, there are two understrength battalions of British regulars who, the, that garrison Kenya, and there are about a thousand of these police. And yeah, and yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty busy, pretty busy here as of late. So yeah. the next morning comes, uh, you're in a very fine hotel. You can take it easy if you wish, or you can get an early start up to y'all. I imagine Ganymede would be up early at least. I want to, we, we can get some mimosas on the veranda. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's probably not what Ganymede would be about, but she wouldn't, <laughs> but she wouldn't stop Zeb, I don't think. Not a Zeb thing. <laughs> mimosas are a Charlie thing. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Morning mimosas are definitely a Charlie thing. Morning martinis are a Charlie thing. Morning martinis and a cigarette, say less. <laughs> <laughs> some pastries, let's fucking go. Yeah, I, I I would if if anyone isn't up early, Ganymede probably gets them up. She's still fresh off of being in charge up on the dairy. Early. Yeah, but he's also but I think Zeb's also kind of like, I mean maybe we should let them sleep in. I mean Irene definitely had a long night. And, you know, 
know, it was a long night. Well, we'll, we'll wake them up and then give them the choice, shall we? Up, just... up, everyone. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> yes. So... I want to get to the Nairobi Star. Sure. I get there early. Yeah, I think we all yeah. want to go. Yeah. Yeah. Great. So you're going... Uh, it is not a long walk. It's in the same uh, district that you're in, kind of smack dab in the center of everything. Um, that and wants to yeah. take a look around as we're going there. Oh, yeah. It, you mean like in the hotel? Like just look around the hotel? Um, now that I, mean, I mentioned the hotel, you mean the hotel? Uh, no, no, no. I, as we're going to the Nairobi Star. But why not look around oh, the hotel? Like, why yeah. not I mean, look why around not the hotel? Look around. Yeah, yeah, let's, let's have some Charles. spot hidden. But that's probably more of a Charles thing. We have some spot, yeah, 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 I love, I'll snoop around the hotel. Great. I don't give a shit. Yeah. I when I'm going to you. be like, mm, Zeb's, Zeb's more like, I, Zeb's more like, I don't want to get another one of our associates. Mm. kidnapped so yeah i think like i i imagine that literally it's like charlie going downstairs or like going to get breakfast yeah. right to bring back to the room then he's like snoopy snoopy there's a, yeah there's a pool and that's what you know <laughs> okay let's see yeah give me the spot hidden yeah i'd love to hard success beautiful hard success. oh that's excellent wow okay um with a hard success, Charles, you notice a wall of photographs, like framed photographs uh, in Hampton House Hotel of like famous people who have passed through. Um, and one photo in particular catches your eye as it is of the Carlisle expedition in Kenya. Uh, you can make out a delirious Roger Carlyle, a tense Jack Brady, a nervous Robert Houston, and sneering Sir Aubrey. Moweru is standing uh, in the picture as well, standing kind of almost like protectively in front of who you assume to be Hypatia Masters, um, kind of blocking most of her body. And the figure's face is distorted like they were m in the process of moving when the photo was taken. Uh, Moweru's expression, which is the first time you've ever seen her face clearly, I think. Um, in most of the other photos, she's in the background, slightly out of focus. Um, she's stunning. Um, intense eyes. Uh, high but, like, full cheekbones. Um, and her expression is... Is... You might think it was annoyed, but there's an, an, an intensity to it. To where an NPC portrait. Oh, yes, we do have an NPC. I, I would love to now show you Moweru. Now that face clearly. Yeah, I would love to says. show you Moweru. Swear to God, Charles. I swear to you're, God, you're, Charles. Yeah, you're not going to like it. <laughs> I swear to God, Charles. Uh, what? I what? would love to show on? all of you. This turns into another Zara situation. I swear to God. Here she is. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, we're in trouble. I can hear oh the God, sense Charles. of 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 processing of being like, mm -hmm. uh yes, NPC hot. Mm -hmm. Um mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> she is beautiful. Hmm. Charles. That's problematic. Um what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? She's fine. She she looks like a lady who can take care of herself. Um uh, mm -hmm. but so did Zara, and we all know how that turned out. Um <sighs> Great. I look at the picture. I stand there for a very long time I'm, as I'm sipping my martini that I got from downstairs. And uh, then I will. Do I see anything else interesting? Anything else about this? No. Okay. Yeah. And then I'll just mosey my way back Great. to the room. Uh, and when you're heading out with that hard success, yeah. Zeb. Um, I don't think you spot anyone in particular, but you certainly have the sense that, you know, their uh, Silas's presence on the train, uh, that's not over. They're, 
you still get the sense that you're being watched um, and perhaps followed, but the crowds make everything like really, really hard to, to pinpoint. Um, but you definitely still get the sense that you're being followed, yes. Um, okay. And Zeb's gonna be like, all right. Um, y'all, I think we may need to perhaps change up a little bit about how we do things. That's what it says. Um, do we? <laughs> I'm gonna assume uh, that we don't have a Mahmood yet, do we? <laughs> <laughs> no, no, you don't have a guide. Um, again, you know, Kenya, uh, specifically Nairobi, rather, um, because the British are all up in it. Uh, there's lots of English spoken in the city, at least. Mm -hmm. uh, once you get gotcha. out, that is not the case. Gotcha. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, is, there, um, is there like a cafe or a restaurant um, yeah. nearby yeah, I mean like, yeah to get to the Nairobi Star you can pass through like the markets yeah. that are around here um, I think Zeb asked everyone like, I don't think we should go straight to our contact perhaps we have them we send them a message and have them meet us somewhere else a fine idea. Is that... Hmm. You're saying this like you're surprised. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> she was, but I think I think Zeb's um, like Zeb's definitely just ripping you a little bit. But... <laughs> yeah. Um <clears throat> now that's it that's an excellent idea. I wonder if perhaps um, one of these one of these restaurants would would do. Perhaps we could even find one that had a, a private room where we could where we could meet. Exactly what I was thinking. Charles, work your magic. My God. <laughs> <laughs> the magic I'm is money. Tipsy. Leave me alone. <laughs> well, I'm charming too, Irene. Uh, <laughs> sure. Sure. Um. Sure. The money talks, but so do I. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah. Do we have a Do we have a place that we could go that would be like? We love meeting in bars and cafes, and we it's our vibe. Sure, we do that shit all the time. Yeah, I love having loud conversations in a bar. Yeah. Do you you want to be somewhere inside? Is there an explorer society? <laughs> yeah, I think inside is probably for the best. <laughs> yeah, inside. A place that has like a back room that I could like. Sure, I think that. there are, there are all sorts of places. Who's delivering the message? Ta uh, <laughs> I was about to say my own name. <laughs> Tommy is. Tommy. 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 Tommy's gonna do it. <laughs> well, I'm not just delivering the message, but <laughs> that. Um, uh, Zeb would like to find a youth. <laughs> Yes. Uh, the youths. Okay. <laughs> a youth <laughs> that make, maybe speaks a little. English. Yeah, so make an fun. appearance check. Oh, that's not much better than my, that's not much worse than my persuade. That's fine. Okay. Or you um, can do persuade if it's higher. That's fine. Persuade is way higher. Slightly higher for me. <clears throat> Come on, critical success. That's right. Critical. Manifesting. Manifesting, Manifesting critical. <gasps> Not bad, though. Manifestation. That's really good. Um, I find my short round. <laughs> it's actually an, it's, it's an adult man. <laughs> it's an adult man. <laughs> um, um, so, uh, yeah. And I think you... You maybe recognize him from the train station, like the one in Nairobi, not the one in Mombasa. Um, yes, 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 good. Um, 
yeah, you're able to get his attention. Um, and he is... He introduces himself as Sam. Uh, and you see he's got... Um, in his bag, there are, like, gardening tools in there. He might be a gardener. Because, um, like I said, everything is, like, especially in the center of Nairobi. Everything is super upkept in terms of greenery right now. Um, I think Zeb sort of goes up and says, uh, Hello? Uh, do you... Uh, um, Hello. Do you speak any English? Perfect. Awesome. <laughs> Perfect. Um. Uh. How would you be, uh, perhaps, uh, willing to deliver a message, uh, for me? Um, of course. To a uh, lovely um, person uh, who works at the Nairobi Star, uh, and Zeb, you know, takes out some money. Uh. We did pick up some at the. There's this, like, expression of, like, patience on his face. Um, he's, I think, maybe in his 50s, um, dark-skinned, uh, well-lined face. Uh, but, yeah, and he's giving you just this, like, expression of patience. <laughs> um, um, they go by the name of, uh, Natalie <clears throat> Smythe? Smythe? Smith? Smith? Mrs. Smythe Forbes is expecting Forbes. you. I'm, I'm sorry. Wait, who are you? My name is Sam. Oh, I mean, I understand that. How, how do you know that the, they're expecting us? They received a telegram from a Mr. Wasif to be on the lookout. We were worried when you did not arrive uh, when we thought you would. But I have been waiting Keeping an eye, since you've been in the city proper. Well, that seems mighty convenient. Um, do you think it's safe to meet at the Nairobi Star? We were thinking perhaps maybe meeting in a neutral location, in a more private sort of setting. I believe that we may have eyes looking out for us. I believe the star is as safe as you're likely to find uh, with the current circumstances. I want to do a psychology check. Sure. Sure. <laughs> Just... <laughs> sure. Do it. Manifesting critical success. You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. Do you want to use a point of luck? Yeah, I'm gonna use a point of luck. <laughs> Great. Um. So above the table, your extreme persuade got you. Um. Got you. Uh, the most helpful person you could possibly get. Uh, in game. Uh, like there is nothing but. Uh genuineness emanating from this man gotcha. well all right then um we will be along shortly then do you know the way i think we passed it by um so i think we can, we can find it um unless you're offering to lead us there um, uh, if you need me i will be around Perfect. Love to hear that. Keep an eye out for yourself. There are definitely um, strange people definitely in this town. I know for sure. I will do that. And yeah, he starts to make his way back into the crowd. <laughs> I think Zeb's still probably still there holding the money. I don't yeah. know if he, he took a tip. A tip. No. <laughs> okay, so Zeb's just like, well, I'm going to put that back. <laughs> um, go and find the rest of his crew. Maybe we finish uh, breakfast first. Yeah. Whatever we're having, brunch. Yeah. Um, Zeb will inform them. 
apparently we were expected. Ganymede picks up her teacup and before she sips to no one in particular, she just says, is literally everyone in this city looking for us? And, and, and we have no idea. <sighs> Sips her tea. Apparently. All right, let's I go. Mean, what's, the, what's the chances that I walk up to like one of the few people that could, that, that knew, <laughs> That, that that could be our what's the chance? <laughs> uh, I think the chances are eleven out of fifty-five. <laughs> eleven out of a hundred, <laughs> rather. Um, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's Zeb musing to himself, <laughs> and uh, it's like, yeah. Unless anyone else has any any other concerns to say, oh, this will eventually make our way to the Nairobi Star. Oh, sounds easy. Excellent. Easy clap done. So the Nairobi Star, a large paged single sheet daily newspaper you've seen around, like in the hotel, the office of the Star, with all its back issues. Um, it may be a particularly good resource. Um, when you enter the building, uh, there's a typographer. Several printers are at work in here. It's actually, I have a map. Whee. And like, I wouldn't read uh, uh. into it being dynamically lit. I wouldn't read into that too much. Uh, but you are soon ushered into a room where, uh, Natalie Smythe Forbes awaits you. Uh, Natalie is a trans woman of, uh, Kenyan and British descent. I think she's about, she's in her late thirties, maybe early forties, um, Pretty, she is colorfully dressed. Her hair is up and wrapped. Uh, and yeah, you are shown, all of you, including Annabelle and John, are shown into her office. I think when you, when you first uh, come in, uh, she says, uh, especially because I think, I think Sam arrives with you. Um, like at the same time, it looks like he just kind of walks up at the same time, but Zeb, you would know he's, uh, he's been keeping an eye. Um, and so when Zeb you're, his hat. yeah, <laughs> and so when you're shown in, uh, Natalie says, oh, good, Sam found you. Now I've heard all about you. Uh, some describe you as a cat's pajamas. Others say you're a gloomy lot. I wonder where the truth lies. Please have a seat. Tea? Yes, that would be lovely. Thank you. Um, and tea is soon served. Uh, she sits, I think, like on the window sill as she... Uh, stirs her tea as her hands are gloved. Um, and she's just kind of patiently waiting for you to to say whatever it is you've come to say. Or ask. Whatever it is you've come to ask. Annie Mead takes a sip of her tea and then as she's placing the cup back in the china saucer she says um sam alluded to conditions here in nairobi being uh, somewhat deteriorated of late i wonder if you could could share more mm. uh, the influx of people is uh, not a random occurrence Uh, and they all seem to be headed north from the city. All kinds, from all over the world, but their path is the same. 
if I if I gener generally think northwards, uh -huh. how does what is the homing beacon of mountain is somewhere over here? Mm -hmm. Does that seem about correct? Yeah. Cool. Love to have a, a homing beacon mm -hmm. like a pigeon to feel like to turn myself around. Yep. <laughs> I think I mean literally in her seat has just like shifted mm -hmm. to like kind of face nice, be like, does this yeah. feel right? Yes. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And uh, where are they headed? Well, that's harder to say. They're cagey. Sam's been able to overhear. Uh, they usually are. Uh, say they're headed out for a trek. A mountain trek. What nationalities do they represent? All. Hmm. Yes, well. She just kind of looks at the rest of you and, and has memories of caves full of cultists. Um, Do you have any experience with the bloody tongue prior to this influx? They've been part of the landscape of Kenya for a long time, but ever since the uh, damned Carlisle expedition, their activities have increased. They they mostly stay out of the city. They have, oh, I don't know, a handful here, I presume. Uh, but mostly uh, they move amongst the tribes. And you've seen evidence of strange things occurring things described as being like, well, like magic. She smiles knowingly. All my life, Miss Graves. Um, man, another time and another place, Ganymede's thinking. Um, She's just thinking, though, okay? Thirsty. Um, hmm. Are these um, travelers, are they led? Uh, do they have guides that take them to the mountain? Or are they guiding themselves? Some hire guides, and the guides don't come back. Lovely. Yes. I, I wonder what what you know or perhaps have uh, theorized about the connection of all of this with the expedition. Uh, as I'm sure you've heard, we're, well, we're sort of following up on their, uh, on their activities. Yes, the um, Carlisle people were a strange, rather unhealthy lot. Uh, Carlisle I scarcely saw, quite a nervous young man who liked his whiskey and his bodyguard wouldn't leave his side. The Dr. Houston was very aloof. Uh, their Kikuyu guide seemed angry about something. Uh, and Sir Aubrey uh, had dealings with people uh, you would not expect for a titled man. And she... What kind of... Pauses. Yeah, what kind, what kind of people? Ah... Uh, People you might suspect were members 
of a certain organization. In hindsight, anyway. And she didn't mention Hypatia, did she? No, she just and kind of pauses as she's like stirring yeah. her tea. And Ms. Masters? <sighs> yes, the, uh, the girl, poor dear, was sick. Uh, indisposed in the mornings, if you know what I mean. Uh, but you see, there was something very peculiar about all that. Or rather, there is now. It's hard to explain. Uh, it's as though my memory of it all has changed. And I don't mean has faded with time. I mean has changed recently. They kept the girl secluded. There aren't many photos of her at the time, but I did manage to get one thanks to Sam, uh, who you've met. Anyway, he managed to get a, a candid photo of the group as they were leaving the city, and I can't explain it, but in my memory, the girl in it is not Hypatia Masters. I mean, it was, at least that's how I re remembered it, but it's not now, I don't think. Your, your memory changed. Yes, and I, if I remember the photograph, it, in my memory, if the photograph was not of her, then you would think, well, did the photograph change itself? Did the photo that I saw, the figure was kind of blurred. Did it, it was look like I, It was distorted. Yeah. It was, it was a uh, Caucasian woman, you yeah. think? I yeah. mean, you know, it's in black and white, um, but that's what you think. Yeah. I saw a photo of the group, um, but the woman who I assumed to be Hypatia was distorted beyond recognition in the photo. Yes, that seemed to happen quite a bit, which is very uh, frustrating when you run a newspaper and they're the hottest thing in town. But this one, this one was a bit blurry. But I could still tell it wasn't Hypatia. In fact, I need to... Would you like me to dig it up for you? That'd be wonderful. Yes, please. She, she heads to the door and then pauses. I think I have something else for you. Of course, you're not the first people to ask me about the Carlisle expedition, but there's only one that really stands out. Uh, an author, Mr. Elias. <sighs> Many questions about the whole nasty business. Nothing that made much sense, of course, but I sometimes get feelings about people and I got the sense that Mr. Elias was in deeper than he realized uh, I convinced him to finish something he was working on and leave it with me I got one of my feelings that if he didn't leave it here it might not ever make it to the people who needed it I think it's meant for you Ganymede is speechless for a moment, I think. I, I think I think you may be right, Natalie. She briskly walks over to a filing cabinet, goes through it, and uh, comes out with a letter. 
Leiter, Leiter. You give, give, give. Yes, obviously. Yes. Okay, I'll give it to you. Uh, does someone in particular want to read it, or shall I read it in Jackson's voice? Yeah. Oh, you, you should definitely it. Okay. read it in Jackson's voice. I'll show it to all of you, though. <laughs> so she's left, leaving you alone with this letter. 15th of August, 1924. My... Dear friends, I don't know when this letter will reach you, but I hope you are well, as well as anyone who has experienced the things we have can be. When I wrote last week to Jonah, my publisher, I made it all sound thrilling, like this investigation was just another book coming together, the blood and muscle and viscera slowly and to make something beautiful and terrifying. But I think I've begun to uncover something big here in Kenya, all related back to our old friend Larkin. Kenya, where it all ended. No, where it will end. Time is difficult. Time doesn't exist the way we think it does, does it? And there's not enough of it. Do you understand? You see the ink pools as if he held the pen there for a long time, lost in thought. I spoke to a man named Kenyatta. His grandfather was a Morogia, a diviner, and those like him still exist. He told me how to get hold of a man called Old Bundari, who knows all about the kinds of things I'm interested in. Perhaps Kenyatta still has a touch of that heritage about him, because when he looked at me, I saw a shadow pass over his expression. Like he knew he was looking at a doomed man. I was going to follow his directions, but then of all things, I met a man in a pub who swears he saw a member of the Carlisle Expedition in a bar in Hong Kong just last year, alive and well. So, I'm going to follow that thread to China. And I... I think I may be being followed. If Jackson Elias knows anything, he knows when it's time to move on. If I am doomed, I know one thing for certain. Your destinies are unfinished. Perhaps you have great victories to live for... Perhaps you will undergo tragedies as terrible as can befall mortals. Only time will tell. Nah, fuck time. Only you will tell. Brave Zebulon. Dare and Ganymede. Changeable Charles. Lovely Irene. Shine on. Jackson. literally have tears in my eyes. I've at some point got up to go stand looking out the window. Yeah. He's doing the long stare out the window. Eyes slightly red. Yeah. <laughs> On the back, uh, scrawl pretty hastily our directions. Uh, outside the Kikuyu Central Association, KCA, uh, storefront at sunsets on and there is a weekday written down uh, a very tall man in all white but no shoes waits you must follow him at a distance he will make sure you are not left behind if he stops and waits then you also must stop and wait the door he enters will have yellow paint that door you will enter also swiftly and without hesitation And that's also in Jackson's mm -hmm. hand? Yeah. Okay. Just like on the back of the letter, scrawled.
Yeah. I think, uh, even though you read it, I think Charlie read it out loud. Mm. Um, and I think the reason for that being is that Charlie has felt Jackson with them. Um, mm -hmm. So this isn't quite so, not, I don't want to say it's not emotional, right? But it's not the same kind of emotion I think that the other group would be feeling. Um, so yeah, Charlie finishes uh, reading the letter and we'll kind of sit it down. Well then, Ganymede dabs at the corners of her eyes with her napkin. Um, instructions from beyond the grave, it seems. Jackson's generally been pretty good at that. She looks at you, Charlie, and kind of just with a raised eyebrow. Well, We have some time, I think. <laughs> she thinks back to the contents of the letter. Well, perhaps we don't, I don't know, but. Well, it's the uh, new moon's not tomorrow. We've got a few days from that at least. I am. Um... Considering all of this started because of Jackson, I think it's only right that we follow up on this. Yes, I agree. There's a brisk knock on the door and it opens right away. And it is not Natalie, but Sam. Uh, he looks straight at you, Zebulon. They're here. They're watching. Zeb turns. <laughs> Sucking a tear back on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> Get back in there. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, well, that didn't take them long. Are they... Are they just watching? Is that it? Or have they brought... One is watching, uh... Uh, through binoculars, the other. It's hard to tell, seems to be muttering to himself, an older man. We need to get out here. We need yes. to go now. <laughs> That's right. Yes, we do. Yes. Like, Ganymede was already, like, pulling out her, her gun and mm -hmm. was just going to lay it on the table. But with that, yes. Yes, we should leave. Sam... Where is, uh, do you know where Miss Smythe Forbes is? Uh, looking through the, the back catalog. That photo. All right. Could you perhaps, could you lead us there on the way out? And, and is there a, a back entrance to this building or, or some side entrance that might not be watched at this point? <clears throat> I mean... There's those windows and the front door. Looks like we're built. <laughs> the windows in here, yeah? Yeah, yeah, there are windows yeah. in here. Well, I think we're going out this window. Oh, don't be ridiculous. We can leave through the front door. Don't leave soon. We may not be able to leave at all, at least for a matter of hours. Let's we should get, get this photo and sports. then we can be on our way. Are you suggesting a confrontation, Charles? I mean, I think that would be on them. It is first thing in the morning. I am feeling fresh. <laughs> she actually laughs at that. Let's hope if we can get out before they finish whatever they're trying to do that they don't want to pick a fight in such a busy place, especially with the police presence around. Yeah. It won't take long. Um, John, dear, perhaps if you could uh, 
keep an eye out the door. We get a sense of where they are. Sure. Sure, yeah, yeah, he nods. And uh, you want him to look out the door or? Yeah, or wherever, where Sam, wherever he can see them from. Sure, sure, yeah. Okay, John will head out with Sam. Yeah. Let's get that photo and... Okay, she, yeah, you... It's going to be a while. It's, it's from five yeah. years ago. Is that is that what Natalie says when we... When yeah, we if you, like, are like, Natalie, yeah. she's like... All right. Ganymede, it was five years ago. I think we need to go deal with that person before they finish. I agree, Zebulon. Shall we? Me and Irene will chill and wait. I don't. And Annabelle? Sure. Yeah, Annabelle can stay with us. Why don't you head out the front and I'll head out the back and see if I can't get around on them? You're quite strategist strategist today, Zebulon. I like this. Let's go. I've had to do a lot of thinking in the last month. <laughs> okay. So so John and Sam are at the the front uh window. Yeah. Uh, and they say they kind of like point out where where they see three figures. One uh y'all will recognize as Silas McQuane. And the two others have, uh, very similar to the cultists who murdered Jackson Elias, have uh, red, like, bands of cloth around their head with leather attachments to kind of mimic a tongue. Um, they are, I, you know, it's crowded. They're kind of up against a uh, nearby uh, wall. The two... Uh, the two cultists kind of looking out, you do see one has uh, binoculars um, and Silas is kind of eyes rolled back into his head, leaned up against a wall. Uh, I'll go ahead and I will bring them out. Boop, isn't that nice? Uh, so you can see them out the window now. But they're definitely further away than that. And Annabelle, Charles, and Irene are in that room. What would you like to do? Is is this the front door? Yes. I'm I'm going to wait until Zeb is in place. Just mm -hmm. a moment. Um, yeah. But as soon as he is, I mean, I've got my I've got my shotgun out. I'm got it loaded. I'm just going to walk out the front door and start walking towards Silas. With your shotgun. Yes. And Zeb is going out the back window um, from the office. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, gotcha. Um, go I understand. The... Yeah. Like this. Great. Um, go ahead and make a stealth check, Zeb. Come on. Manifesting, manifesting, manifesting. Nice, very good. Yeah, you're able to just lift up the window and drop down into the bushes. Like I said, everything is very kind of like well maintained in terms of like a shrubberies and yeah, things they, like they that. Got, they got some good shrubbery. Yes, so you're able to to sneak out and approach how you wish. Uh, Ganymede, what are you doing? I am. I, I, I just walk out the front door. Yeah, I think John's got, going with you. What am I? He's there. Oh, yes, awesome. I've got my shotgun yeah. leveled. Yeah. And and I, I think I just say, I think I say loudly um, because uh -huh. I know what it takes to penetrate one of these trances. I say, um, that will be quite enough, Mr. Nakwame. Great. As you say that, his eyes open. And I just want to emphasize the many, many, many good things have happened. Many, many good things have happened. So it's all fine. It's all fine. He opens his eyes and they focus on you. 
Miss Graves, you know, his toothless smile. How nice to see you again. Yeah, I'm just mm -hmm. sort of standing here like... Um, I haven't seen you since you broke into my shop. I was just thinking the same thing. I suppose I have seen you, but not so up close and personal. Yes, yes. Have you then witnessed from afar the deaths of your, of the, the, your companions leading this abomination around the world? No, oh, we've all been splendid here. I believe you were talking about other yes. believers. And what brings you to the star today? Have you come to join them, perhaps? <laughs> no, I've, I've come to finish the uh... would you really call it a conversation? Uh I've come to finish your greeting from our high priestess. She wanted to make sure you felt welcome. Can Zeb come up at this point from behind? Yeah, definitely. Uh, Zeb's going to have the knuckle duster out yeah. in the revolver mode <laughs> yeah. and have it basically point blank. Yeah. Um, he says, well, I think we feel very, very welcome here, Mr. Naquani. And he's gonna have, he's gonna like, essentially have the gun mm -hmm. right to his back. You're going to do this in the middle of the street, kill an old, an old man in the middle mm. of the street, loudly, are you? That's really up to you. Well, you could do that, but you might be a bit occupied. And what's that supposed to be? Back inside the star. Son of a nutcracker. Annabelle, Charlie, and Irene. Huh. Outside of the windows I've just left through. Mm -hmm. uh, appearing... Out of thin air. Sure. <laughs> what? I drink and hink. Oh, it's pretty. Let me go over here so everybody can see the rave happening. Are Absolutely less... not. Fire vampires? Fire vampires? I don't vampires? know what you're talking oh. about. Far less fire vampires because zeb found sam sam warned you he did not have time to get all of them so close or less she says so close and still has three on the Listen. screen <laughs> but they're outside though right yeah right now um yeah. so we shoot this fucking man shoot him there shoot him shrubbery <laughs> I mean, if he's like, don't make a scene in the middle of the day, but he's gonna bring out fire vampires, like, fuck you, actually. Well, nobody on the train thought there was anything weird. They thought y'all started a fire. Um, so, um, yeah, here we go. You know, I'll, yeah, I think we're in the same situation. I actually think that, um, he only got two out, we'll say. Because that was... Very good. So, oh, this is so pretty. I love how it looks. I'm really pleased with the rain. I love how it gets happening. more intense with each one, <laughs> too. It's okay. so, it's so cool and terrifying. <laughs> Excellent. So, we shall now be in initiative. Irene Blackwell, you're up first. Uh, 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 uh. Oh, My gun oh, was drawn. Your gun was... I don't think we have sight on where Charles and yeah, you know the building that they're in, but yeah, they're kind of blocked off. But you can see the sparks, the flames. You also have your gun drawn, Zeb, so. There we go. So, I guess Ganymede's going first. Oh, are we really gonna do this? Do you want us are to join we... the turn order? You're in it. 
Oh, we I are? got it, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. Um... Are we really gonna shoot these people in the streets? Are you? Zeb has a better yeah. idea. Yeah. Yeah, shoot them in the Could street. Could be a bad idea, street. maybe. Could be like a crazy good idea. Might get though. kicked okay. out of the country. <sighs> um. We will. It'll be fine. <laughs> Not the first time we have been in a place where we are at danger of being deported from the country. <laughs> For good reason, to be fair. <laughs> We'll just well, it's self defense. Yeah, I have a tactical. Defense. I have a tactical question. Yeah, what's up? I know that that um, turns aren't connected with time in this game in the same way they mm -hmm. are D and D. Yeah. I man, I should have started casting this the moment I heard. I really should have. Um. What are you doing? Do I do I estimate do I estimate that there might be time uh, to to cast the bar to cast the barrier? What's the casting before? time? It's a minute. No. <laughs> that sounds. You could start casting it, and uh, what will a minute be? Some number of rounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um. What are you doing? I'm 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 not gonna just start shooting people in the middle of the street. Yeah, seems smart. Um Lock them out then. I Uh, what if um no actually i'm not gonna do anything i'm holding i'm just holding okay let That's me it. know if Move you want to do something in this round zeb what are you doing um did we get the sense i don't know if anyone figured out like during that or charles figured out but like once these things are summoned do they like go away if the summoner can't control them or we don't know that yeah you don't know but the summoner but the summoner can dismiss them right maybe Okay. Yeah, because that's, yeah, okay, so that's, that's what Zeb's um, Hard to operating. say, hard to say. Um, Zeb is going to grab Silas. Yeah, sure. Do I need to do any sort of... He kind of <laughs>, <laughs>, laughs with his, 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 his big toothless smile. Um, yeah, yeah, let's do a, let's do a maneuver. Yeah, so so what do you want to use for that? Oh, I'm pure strength. Great. I just want to use strength. Yeah, I'll let oh, him... How much, how much strength could this old man have? <laughs> I'll let him... He's going to oppose with the deck. So, yeah, go ahead and make a strength. How dexterous can this old man be? He's very old. <laughs> um, manifesting critical success. Real good. Let's see. You have... I have you the have higher strength. You do. Yes, you definitely you definitely have the higher strength on him. Uh so yeah. Fuck it, old man. <laughs> yeah. He at, for a second it, like he's going to like leave his shuka. Um but you manage to get your arms around his very emaciated uh form. So, yes. You have grabbed him. He cannot run away. Um then, Great. like, I'm just going to start the, like, dragging him. I'm going to drag him towards the fire vampires. Okay, you can start moving with him. Uh, cool. I'll, I will, I'll cover the cultists that are with him. Yeah. To make sure they don't try to interfere. And if they do, then I will, I will act. <laughs> okay. So they're starting to move this way. Yeah, John's with you have him act with you um irene what are you doing you see the fire vampires are doing their dance that's what they've been doing oh cool 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 uh i'm going to annabelle says not again <laughs> i'm 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 going to look away from the fire vampires oh, okay sure <laughs> 
I am going to encourage that Annabelle does the same. Yeah, are you, are you, like, turning away? Are you, like, getting under the table? Are, like... I'm turning away. Okay. Um, and I think I'm, I'm scanning the room for any fire things around here. Fire yeah, suppressors. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's do a luck check. Cool. Let's do, see. Do, 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 lucky. Yep. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, not in this room. Great. Uh, yeah, so I think it's turning around. Yep. And I think I'm heading towards the door. Sure, uh, sure, absolutely. I love that for you. I am not perceiving. Not perceiving. I am actively ignoring. Yep. Uh, <laughs> okay, it's uh, the cultist's turn. Uh, wonderful. Um, they don't love that Silas is being dragged away. They don't love that. So, uh, they are going to throw knives at you. Uh, why don't you want it, John? If that's okay. Uh, and a reroll for Charlie from Alexis. <laughs> thank you, Alexis. Aw, oh, thank you. Thank you so much for being here. Okay, so this one's at you, Ganymede. They just take out a knife and quickly whoo, throw it. Let me make sure it's Huge. not broken. Oh, it's broken. Huge. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. It's broken. <laughs> thank God. I don't know why it does that. I don't either. That's a miss. It is very broken. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a miss on you and a miss on John. Um, yeah, so they, I, I feel like they throw these knives like around the outside shoulder of both of you and you like both like come together. Yes. <laughs> you know, he puts an arm around you and pulls you in and you both avoid yeah. the knives. Very sexy. Yeah. Um, that's all they do. Charlie. Yes, me. Um, yeah, I think me and Irene had the same ideas of being like, mm, hey, maybe like nobody look at it. Yeah. You know, um, and uh, also get the fuck out of this room. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I think all three of Charlie would yes. be coming around the table to like make sure that the two of them get out of the room. I'm yep. looking. I'm looking for. I mean, this is an it's the office of the Nairobi star, right? Yeah, it's like a like a meeting conference room. Right. I mean, but somewhere they must have Right, but fire extinguisher. Somewhere in the Nairobi Star there is a fire extinguisher, but yeah. it is not in this room. Right, right, right. But I'm gonna go look for it. Oh yes, I love that for you. Yes, I'm gonna look yeah. for it. So you get out hastily. Here. Yeah. 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 Hast hasty yes. I'm like move aside, ladies, I'm going mm -hmm. to find a fire extinguisher. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, and yeah, and telling them just not not to look at it. Yeah. Um, okay. Stay steer clear of it. Yeah. Um, um, yeah. Make a luck check. I'd love to. I'm really. I'm so lucky. She lied. It's not in the main I mean, room. Re okay. Re -roll. It's not in the main room. Yeah. <laughs> Shit. This is great. This is great. Okay. Uh, Natalie. Calls up from, let's see, where is she? She's probably over here. I'm also is that yelling smoke? out where the <laughs> <laughs> we've also oh. We've also got an Eldritch gift for Zeb from Alexis. Thank you, Alexis. Uh, Ma'am, where might I find your fire extinguisher? Yeah, you, you saunter <laughs> over where yes. you hear her voice coming from. Yes, I do. I, I'm walking with haste. Yeah. Hey, oh, nice. Uh, 10 HP. 10 HP. Damn, uh, dude. Get crazy. That's great. Um, How does 10 HP work in this? Uh, you just just add it. Just like refresh to your. If it takes you over, just just manually enter it on your sheet. It's fine. Um, <laughs> so great. Exciting. She gestures. I think in like in the room she's in, which is full of paper. Yeah. There's one in here. Great. I'm coming in. I'll grab that. Yeah. For yeah. My okay. Yeah. You're good. Yeah. Yeah. You're in here. Uh, it's Silas's turn. He's grabbed. 
He is grabbed right now. I mean, I don't think I need to. Hmm. No, he's grabbed. Um, he starts screaming. Uh, in languages that you don't know. Well, who does start screaming? Silas. Starts screaming for help. This old man. Yeah. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna make a check for him. What do I wanna do? Um sure, 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 sure. I'm gonna do a power check. Okay. Uh, you, you have not attracted too much attention yet. He hasn't, rather, with his with his screams. Um, but he still, he looks like n unbothered um, at being kind of dragged. Uh, Ganymede Graves. Um... I'm continuing to provide cover for Zeb. And I, I just say, mm -hmm. um, uh, Zebulon, perhaps Mr. Nakwame would like to join us inside. See if his little, uh, his uh, little friends here uh, perhaps want to sit down and have a chat. I'm, my, my thinking, of course, is right. I mean, are you prepared to die today for your for your god, Mr. Nakwame? Yeah, are you trying Is... to do something? Uh no, I'm not. Well, I'm I'm I want to keep I, I I'm trying to help Zeb get him in the Got it, okay. Get him yeah. in the building. If that's if that's what yeah. Zeb is planning. And an eldritch gift for Ganymede from Alexis. Thank you. <laughs> Okay, yeah, we'll have you... Hey, nice. <laughs> Ten skill points. Um, very good. Uh, okay, we'll have you assisting Zeb. Zeb, it is your turn. What would you like to do? Um, the fire, the fire hasn't moved into the building yet, yeah? It's, like, right by the window. You can, you can see, like, the glass, like, melting. Yeah. But no, they're not inside yet. I, I was, you know, you're talking about let's bring him in the building. I was thinking about bringing him towards the fire. <laughs> I'm, I'm afraid. I'm afraid that if we do that, they're just going to go in the building. Uh, yeah, that's probably yeah, probably a better idea. So yeah, is that just going to try dragging him into the building? Yeah, you can absolutely do that. Um, Ganny, you'll have to help out because he's he's a wily old man. Grab his leg. Grab his leg. <laughs> yep, yep, yep. Um, cool. I like I like this. Why don't you make me a um some kind of check because you know there's fire. Somebody could notice it. He did scream, though not really anybody's around paying attention. Um, so I need some kind of check to secret him into the building. So whatever Ooh. persuasion. <laughs> um, sure. Um, maybe just like I feel like there's just like a general, like in terms of like secret, you're trying to say like so that no one else is like obviously looking into this at the moment. Yeah. Like, yeah. How about maybe just a general appearance check? Yeah. Maybe that, that works. Like a kind of a good. Yeah. Um, because it's not dragging this man into the, into the building is not gonna be stealthy. Right. Stealthy. Right. So can we make it look? not so bad <laughs> can we can we make it not look like me as <laughs> zebulon yes. dragging this old yeah man yeah into yeah a absolutely building? absolutely um and <laughs> thank you for that reroll for irene i like this um manifesting success manifesting yeah success. i love this i love this manifesting success come on manifesting critical success oh. Okay. 
Nice. Okay, yeah, you're able to kind of turn it around. Nobody, right, nobody has, like, really caught on yet. You're able to kind of make it look like, I don't know, you're helping a guy who's, like, fainted or something like that. It doesn't look like you're muscling a man, like, kidnapping a man off the street. Um, and I think as you're passing by, I was like, John, do you mind keeping an eye on those two fellas outside? Make sure they don't go for help. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he'll, like, help you, like, close, like, try and close the door if you want and, um, so that, yeah, so they don't just walk right in. Oh, funny. Okay, okay, you're inside. Irene, what are you doing? Oh! Uh, sorry. Yes? yes, no, no, it's still your turn, it's still your turn. Cool. Cool. Uh, well, um, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm still kind of in the process of getting the thing to put out the living fire. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So you see, um, Charlie is like in the door, um, over here. Whoops. No, that I don't want that. I'm just trying to ping over here. And he's like, turn around and he's got a fire extinguisher. Cool, great. Um, yeah. Great for us. Uh, I I think I'm gonna kind of usher in a bell. Yeah. Out of the yeah. Room. Perfect. Perfect. She's kind of be like, and we're going to get yeah. out of here real quick. Yeah. Great. Great. Love that for you. Yeah. Um, wonderful. It's their turn. Yeah, you can get as far as you want. Um, great. They obviously come through. Um, they have a move of 11, so they'll go wherever they want to. Um, wee! Just like shoot through here into the main room. Isn't it nice and bright? We love this. It's a whole, it's a whole vibe in here. Um, one, two. One, two, three, four, five. We'll just do a d6. Nope, that's 16. Hey, Zeb. Hey, yeah. Uh, one of them is going to dart over at you. Remember, these things are tiny, so it's like they can do this. Now, you do have Silas, so there is a chance that they will negatively affect him. We yeah, shall see. Exactly. That's why I'm like, it's fine. Yeah. yeah. Zeb's kind of like, call him off. Yeah. Call him off if you don't want to get burned, old man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I love that. I love that. How many times do we have to teach you this lesson, <laughs> old man? <laughs> oh, they failed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think maybe Silas is accidentally helping you a little. <laughs> he's, he's like squirming. You get out of the way as this one shoots forward. Um, and he's, he's, oh laughing still as they shoot forward they kind of go across the desk and papers there catch a flame um and then so one two three ah hey irene <gasps> shoo this one shoots after you poor irene hey we love Fuck to see all. it so uh make <laughs> make a constitution and a power <gasps> You love it. You love this. Every oh, like, don't look at these single. things. Don't yep. look at them. Time. Great. Cool. Are you serious? <laughs> so, so you only take six damage. Okay. Uh, and now I need a luck check. Great. Also, you lose six uh, magic points. Um, cool. Not like I'm using yeah. them anyway. <laughs> no, but you made the luck, which is great. So you, your clothes do not catch on fire. I think this one, like hits into you and Annabelle like instantly is like patting out the flames <laughs> on you. Um, great. We love to see it. It's the cultist turn. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. What are they going to do? Oh, yeah. I don't know. I don't know if they want to. <sighs> I'm just gonna, you guys got any luck? No, you don't have any luck. Um, 
They're gonna try to muscle in. Uh, I assume John is like holding the door, so. Um, they are gonna try to muscle in. Uh, let's, I'm gonna give them a strength with a bonus die. Nice. Yeah, okay. Um, so, John, we'll say John has, yeah, he's strong. No. Um, so they hit into the door, you know, he's like shut it and is trying to hold it and they just like pound into the door uh, and it comes open. Yay. Dang it, John, you had one job. You had one <laughs> job. <laughs> Great. Um, Charlie, you're up. Fire extinguisher. Woo! <laughs> um, okay. So, which one do you want to put out? Um, Go for it. Uh, whichever one, yeah, is on Irene. Sure. Oh, and another reroll for Irene. Thanks, Alexis. Um, okay, yeah, you can go over there and uh, I don't think I'm going to make you roll to hit because okay. it's like a spread. Um, yeah. Just roll a d6. Okay. Man, fire extinguishers. Five. Amazing. That one's gone. Yeah. Woo, woo, woo. And Annabelle's like, Charles! As both her and Irene are covered in a fire extinguisher. Her beautiful I, I, couture cap. I know that the situation is dire, but when she screams out because she gets hit with the... Yeah. I think Charlie, like, has to really hold back the smirk of, like, oh, my God, Annabelle. Lady. My God, Annabelle, your dress is replaceable. Your life is not. <laughs> we need some humor, though. We do, we do. Um, great. Okay, That's cool. Good. That's a beautiful turn. Love that for you. Uh, Natalie is going to just head out here. And uh, yeah, she's, like, looking at the fire on this uh, table over here. Like, like, we need to. And looking into the office where a bit of... Uh, papers on the table have caught too. She says, we're going to need to move quickly to contain this. Uh, great. Silas's turn. I am going to let Silas uh, cast something now that he's not as concerned with getting attention and help from the populace. Uh, Ganymede! Bring it. Okay, listen. You want to win this. Um, so this is going to be it for his magic points as he chants, yeah. Okay, we're going to do an opposed power check. Awesome. So I love these. So fun. Mm-hmm. Do you want me to go first or you? Uh, you go first. Okay. I'm strong-willed, so I have to roll twice, you yeah. know. <sighs> nice, but not so nice. Good. Glad you're strong-willed. You, as he's chanting this, um, you feel like this almost like sapping begin. Uh, you feel a little weak in the knees, but you're able to shake it off. Very do good. I, do I recognize the effect? Uh, make a Cthulhu Mythos check. Oh, I would love to do that. Um, yeah. No. Yeah, no, you're you're not familiar. Okay. Not okay. familiar. Um, but, you know, you remember, like, he didn't really cast much. You know, he kind of just ran away. Like, he got, he yeah. alerted Makunga um, yeah. back in Juju House, but he wasn't really a caster, so that has changed. Yeah. Um, fairly recently. Uh, you will increase your power because of that though, I think. Unless you have to be the instigator. We'll look at it after. Okay. Um, great. It's your turn. Um, I'm going to shoot a cultist. In the door? Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I oh no, now, now I'm I sure. have doubt. I'm sure you're now not I have there. doubt. I mean, they're trying to get in, right? Yeah, the door's open. 
Yeah. But yeah. they're are they are they in? They're going to are be coming they they in. They're where they are. I I will I will join my darling John and mm -hmm. get the door closed. Okay. Okay. So they like push it open and y'all are like, no, <laughs> push it, but like sidle in there and, uh, yeah. Go. Okay. With the two of you. Yeah. You'll have a bonus die against them. <laughs> like that, like break it open, push it closed and put all your weight against it. Okay. Zeb, what are you doing? Zeb's going to start. Zeb still got a hold of Silas, right? Yep. Yeah. Zeb's gonna start pushing the old man towards the fire. <laughs> sure, sure. Call him off, old man. <laughs> I don't think he says old man. Just call <laughs> him off, Silas. Call it off. Okay, give me an intimidation check. Yeah. Um, manifesting critical success. Uh huh. That's not critical. So I'm gonna use a reroll. <laughs> okay. Hey, okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Yeah, as you like, you know, grabbing him and like pushing him like between you and this ball of flame, his eyes get uh, big. And you hear him call out in a language that you are not familiar with um, as he kind of, he does this, the fire vampire uh yeah yeah he's speaking in a language uh he seems very scared he seems to be taking you seriously but that is all you know um irene i am covered in fire extinguisher yep. spray yep and the fire is spreading on this desk and in here uh yeah i i would like to try to put out some fires that's on the furniture i would like to not burn down the nairobi star while we're here yeah what are you uh, what are you gonna use um i don't know these clothes are pretty fucked mm -hmm. uh i'm I, i'm gonna i'm gonna rip a, a swath of my skirt yeah. um and and use that as like to to smother to, like, the fire it. yeah annabelle yeah. will help you so y'all are doing, the, I mean, her outfit. Well, this outfit's ruined anyway. Um, <laughs> oh, my yeah. mouth just like fucking ripped. Grabs like, yeah. Too. Why rip it? Just take it off. <laughs> <laughs> she grabs like, um, oh, I don't know. Maybe there's like a seat cushion there, some rugs in here to like smother it basically. Um, so y'all can do that. That is going to take care of this one. Great. Cultist turn. Okay. Let's do strength checks for the cultists versus Ganymede with a bonus die. Okay, that's a regular. Oof. Oh, uh, yeah. Oh, you win! Oh, shit! Okay, yeah, y'all keep it closed. Um, and after, like, they're pounding... Uh, you hear other voices start and they, you also, and you hear them like back off the door. They seem to be retreating. Very nice. That went better than expected. Charlie. Shh, I'm going to go spray the table. Yes. This thing up here, this one up here. Yeah. Uh, spray the shit out of it. Yeah, give us a D6. And all of my friends. <laughs> give us a D6. <gasps> Two. Okay, it's almost dead. Yeah, you spray it and it's just fast, kind of like avoiding yeah, yeah. most of mm -hmm. uh, what's on here. Saw me take out its friend. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. Fancy, but yeah. Um, I, I think. Fuck, still. Eat. Oh, damn. I know what she's done. Vampire. Uh, on her turn, uh, Natalie has run into what you now see as a restroom. Um, and has grabbed like, uh, like a bucket and filled it with water and she's going to come over here and hopefully take this thing out. I'm just going to roll a d100. Okay. Okay. 
Um, so she flings this bucket of water. It hits like all of you. <laughs> it hits all of you and will be the last point of damage. This one needs to be extinguished. As, um, as as that was getting ready to happen, John and I see the, the two cultists running away yeah. from the door yeah. and, and look back at Annabelle. And I just look at John and quietly say, how many dresses did she bring? I mean, I thought plenty, but how many is, is four? I, it's, that, that should be, it should be right. She really likes that one, though. Yes, yes, well, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of her. And then splash, we, yeah. we all get hit with water. <laughs> Perfect. <sighs> Perfect. Okay. It is quiet. Um, I assume y'all are going to move and put out the fire in the office. Yeah. Yes. Obviously, yeah. Yes, I've got yes, a fire yes, extinguisher. Yes. Yeah, go. yeah, you go. Yeah. Zeb's looking What's at the, the others to put out the fire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. The yeah. Fire and there were some, gone. like... <laughs> I did say there were other people in here. They've just, like, <laughs> been staring and, like, <laughs> trying to assist. And you hear Natalie, everyone go home. Just, just, um... It was the wiring. Go. <laughs> And she, like, collapses in a chair that's not burnt. <laughs> and I just give her this look of, like, did you expect anything different with us? You invited us here, ma'am. Really? She was expecting you. She didn't invite you. I, oh. did, I did give them the choice of meeting in a neutral location. <laughs> you, you absolutely did. <laughs> So, Mr. Nakwami, it looks as though you will not be asked to to die for your god today. Uh, at least not at this particular moment. He's kind of like collapsed and is breathing a bit shallowly against uh, Zeb. Uh, I think Zeb puts him in a chair. Yeah, sure, definitely. I just, I just, wanted to be able to see the look on your faces. Kind of leans back, still just breathing. He's not doing anything, he's not casting. So, uh, any luck with that photo? Yes. Yes, as a matter of fact. Let's see. So there's, um, the first thing she lays down on the table is a newspaper article from 1920 um, reporting that, you know, the Carlisle expedition left Nairobi to mount a trek to confirm data gathered in Egypt concerning the followers of a religious leader who migrated southward into Kenya. Um, this is kind of a after they disappeared, like right when they were discovered. That's when this date is from, where the photograph was actually printed in or reused in. Uh, the report gives credit to a Lieutenant Mark Selkirk and a squad of men for finding the remains. Um, though Natalie, you see, has inked in red that Sam uh, had reported a massacre site uh, to the police months previously and they did nothing. The report goes on to detail the capture of five Nandi tribesmen who were tried and found guilty for the murders and a company and photograph shows the grisly scene of the men swinging from five ropes. There is also included in this article a departure photo from when the Carlisle expedition left Nairobi. 
it shows Sir Aubrey looking exceptionally young, and this, um, also in this photograph, is a slightly blurry, candid photo of an obviously, um, to your eyes anyway, knowing what to look for, pregnant young woman. Identified as Hypatia Masters, but comparing it to the May 1919 picture you have of her from the Cairo Bulletin, that's not Hypatia Masters. But it is someone that one of you recognizes. Ganymede. Not familiar. Irene? No. Zeb? Not familiar to you, but certainly not the vision of the girl you saw in the exhibition in London. This one is younger. Charles. Through the blurriness, you see the face of someone you recognize. And now it all comes together. You remember at Juju House in New York, when you were on the brink of death thanks to Madari's Panga, you spoke to Nyarlathotep in the guise of a twisted Jackson Elias. You asked, how do you know her? Or is that all me? He responded, oh, that all came from you, Charlie. But now that I know her, maybe I can find her for you. I've looked since she left. She's not here. And she's not coming back. Charles, I can reach places that your kind cannot fathom. If you want me to. And later... Only months later in reality, but it feels so much longer, doesn't it? When you spat in the face of the Black Pharaoh's offer. Fuck you and your gifts. Because I know they aren't to keep. I can make you a promise, Charles. If you don't get her, I will. And though none of you were there to hear Hypatia Master's words to Ava Cowles, we remember them. He always keeps his promises. You see the face in the photograph, the face of your first love, the face of Annie. And Ganymede, Irene, Zeb, you see Charles's eyes roll back in his head and he hits the floor. Charlie, make a sanity check, make a power check. No. No, but, but, oh. <laughs> Sanity, nice, nice. Make the power check with a penalty die. Okay, very good. A regular success. You lose two points of sanity with the extreme. The power check was a regular, great. Charlie, you're in the enormous hole again, falling through nothingness. But this time there is no Zara Shafiq to find you, to tether you. Her soul, wherever it is, is not here. You're in never ending free fall, at least until you're not. You land in something slimy and throbbing and muscular. Your arms and legs immediately sink in and you're trapped. The more you struggle, the more stuck you get in your own grief, right on the edge of fighting to the death or giving in and letting it take you. And something is down here with you, sliding up through the mass that holds you. You can see it only because this sickly green glow emanates from it. It's just chaos and viscera at first, but it is coalescing, forming an all-too-familiar shape, forming 
You, Charles Rapp, slick and unscarred by the life you've led, but with the void eyes of Nyarlathotep. You know what's funny, Charlie? It didn't take long at all to convince her that you left her to die, abandoned her to her death. Because that's the truth, isn't it? You always abandon them in the end. I gave you a chance. What is that you tell yourself? Just a little too late? But you and I both know, if you just tried a little harder, been a little better, or less selfish, well, we're all sure you could have done more if you really wanted to. This you, this naked, blood-covered version of you comes to where you're being held down and leans in close. I'm going to tell you what will happen now, Charlie. And I want you to think about this while I'm up there showing all your friends a good time. I'm going to watch as Annie eats you and your little would-be witch while you scream and wish and pray and beg for it to be over. But it will never be over. The digestion process is long, and though your bodies and what she will absorb from them will be finished in the blink of an eye, it is your mind and soul she will continue to feast on shit out and eat again for eons as you replay over and over the moment you spat in the face of a god's gift. Chat soon, Charles. I wonder if I can get Irene to hate you as much as Annie does. And Charlie's eyes open. That's where we're going to end the session. Fuck. <laughs> Turn it off. Literally, just turn it off. Like, there's nothing to say. These are my best friends. <laughs> I have literally been buzzing for weeks. Cool. 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 Yeah, so, um. <laughs> We're gonna, like, go around. We're gonna go around now, everybody, and like check in with them, see how they're doing. Um, should I turn the? Should I change the music up? What should we? We should listen to our our favorite, our favorite track. I, think, I think we should listen to our favorite track, just to calm down real quick. Yes, that's much better, isn't it? Tommy, you want to start us off? You want to kick us off? <laughs> I'm Tommy. I'm in Paired of Pingo on the Twitter sphere. I do. I just, you know, I play tabletop RPGs where mm -hmm. my GMs, you know, just stab me repeatedly. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I do some video editing stuff. You're like, I have commissions open. If you're interested, you can check out the posty on my Twitter. Tommy's the best. Hire and him. That's all, that's all I got right now. That's cool, it. cool. I think I'm going to go in a slightly different order. I think I'm going to like head over to Allison for like fun. Just like switch it up after 91 episodes. Hey. Um, yeah. <laughs> that was 
that was that was a thing. That was that was great. It was great. Um. Hmm. Mm. Wow. Wow. Had that going since Juju House, huh? No. <laughs> But I found those lines from the episode in Juju House. I I am. I'm I'm probably I'm I'm devastated. I'm I'm devastated. That's a good word. Charlie just um, passed out real quick. He's fine. Yeah. So Yeah. I'll be back here next Saturday. <laughs> and I'm sure everything will be fine. Um, wow, I mean, no, this is amazing, amazing, what an amazing story. Thanks everyone, especially for rerolls and eldritch gifts and all kinds of good stuff. Uh, gods know we're going to need them. We'll see y'all next week. Cool, cool. Um, that's probably it. We should probably just, like, do our little salty sweet outro and do all this. Hi, Summer. So, so, so... So I, f I found your knife. What do you have to say? I, for I found the knife you gave me two and a half years ago. And I thought I should return that. I should give that oh. back. And so I, I there, there you go. Thank you. I was wondering where that was. <laughs> um, uh, what even, what even to say? I mean, I just, you know, sometimes you cry and sometimes you just have to laugh like sometimes you just have to laugh because it's so fucking horrible it's actually so horrible um but i will say having you read back the conversation from juju house is like number one moment for me in any ttrpg it happened so long ago and um yeah it's hot it's good i'm very happy i am very i i actually am really happy <laughs> um but it is oh i'm just i don't i don't know what the fuck is i don't know what's gonna happen i literally don't know what's happening um Lauren has to see me tomorrow, though, so... She's coming <laughs> so to my house. She, oh, my God. She knows where I live. She knows yeah. where I live. <laughs> um, but, yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, I t mm. next week... F fuck, I guess. Fuck me. Um, I am Summer. You can find me on Twitter. Uh, just a summer job. You can find me on Twitch at It's just a summer job. It's where I stream most days of the week. I'm going yeah, to stream today. I think <laughs> I might just go have lunch and take a nap. Um, <laughs> uh, as, but, a treat. as a treat. As a treat. Uh, but yeah, what a good game. Um, see you guys next Saturday where <laughs> I'm sure everything will be fine. It will be fine. Probably fine. Great. Good. Good to know. Good to know. Good to know. Kiana, you got anything to say? Anything you want to add? Anything? So to, to give everyone some context, Lauren sent me a message after last episode, while she was prepping, going, I have found something very juicy while looking up what happened with Silas. And I go, oh, fuck. Uh, <laughs> and I've been, I've been theorizing ever since it was the, oh, Hypatia is no longer the, the, the host of the, uh, the spawn. Um, what could, who could it be? And at first, maybe I'm aware, but maybe not. Uh, and then as soon as you were like, I found something juicy back. And just, I was like, oh, we're bringing someone from way back, all the way back then. Um, and as soon as you said, there was one person who recognized it. I'm like, oh, fuck, it's Annie. Fuck, it's Annie. God damn it. <laughs> so, yeah, that's great for all of us. It's great for all of us. Good and fine and Good. great. And we love that Nihilazatep is, is present with us right now. Yeah. And, um, and personally peaked. Personally so mad at us. Just like Which, to be fair, we have been antagonizing <laughs> Nihilazatep. Yeah, y'all you, you, are Charlie. bullies. We have been not bullies. 
We we have been antagonizing. We have been escalating antagonism to Nihilatha Tip over the last little while. Um, it was only about a time that he decided, fuck y'all, <laughs> particularly fuck, Charlie. Fuck you um, people in particular. Yeah. So, yeah, so we fucked around, and now we're going to find out, uh, and we'll see what happens next time. But until then, you can find me on Twitter, at Kenna Est. Uh, I think we, I think we just gotta end the stream, Lauren. Yeah, I would love, I would love to end the stream. (laughs) Hi, I'm Lauren. I'm on the internet sometimes. Watch a preview of Journeys Through the Radiant Citadel's Level 1 Adventure by our dear friend Serena Marie. There's gonna be a playthrough on Monday and like four Pacific on Roll20 app, uh, the Twitch channel. Uh, she's great. Uh, so we want to support her and she's also running it. She wrote it and she's running it. Uh, so thank you to Roll20, Dice of Grinding Coffee Co. You can find us on YouTube and Twitter. It's all just begins. You're going to go rate a friend and we'll see you next Saturday. Wait, bye everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs>